I'm giving my award to Kratz. Wow. Here's my thinking. Here it is. He'll probably never, ever be slightly in contention. And he was, quite frankly, the story of the day. Like, he was everywhere. He Think about the, the two good pitching performances we got. Who caught him? Yeah. Gary was atrocious. I want Kratz to stay on the team, and that's the conversation I want to have. But, I mean, the hugs he was giving out, yeah. that look he gave Hap, like, dude, i kiss you right now. That was beautiful. What we just did out there on that mound, that was beautiful. Him and him and uh, Davey, he's been catching him at the alternate site and them hugging each other. I mean, the, when they showed the Yankees bench, they showed Kratz. Yeah. He was like oh. the leader on the bench this whole weekend. The Yes Network has had a conversation that, like, up the Kratz content. So, so have we. <laughs> so have we, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that this was a weekend where the culture of the Yankees was in question big time. Like, when they were looking bad, it was like, none of these guys are inspired. Like they were playing not inspired baseball. And Kratz was kind of guiding these young kids through it and having fun and making jokes, gunning out runners at second. I think he had a hit in the two games he played, so he contributed with the bat both times he was starting, which, whatever. I'm not giving it to him for stats anyway, although his receiving and his guiding Davey through that game is, like, of note. Yeah. So... I don't think he'll ever be up for it again. I think Davey will be up for it many a times. Hap's had him before. Okay, spoilers. Going for Kratz. We all fell fell for Cameron Mabin last year. He was clearly such a part of the team, and we were doing this mental roster crunch, and okay, when guys come back, I mean, are we going to have to be DFA Mabin? And then it turned into, okay, like, you know, let's keep Mabin until September. Figure it out so we can have the extra guys on our roster Figure it out to keep Maven around. Kratz has hit that point. The pride of the Yankees goes to J Hap. Wow. J Hap. Um, I love Davey, my short king, and I'm sure we're going to talk about him again. More coming up. Teaser. J Hap came up in a seven game losing streak. Panic throughout Yankee Nation. He call, He basically, in the press this week, said that the Yankees are messing with, messing with my pitching. <laughs> Cashman with the great quote, <laughs> we didn't give the Mets COVID, dude. <laughs> Did you hear the rest of Cashman's quotes? Yeah, he was, he was intense. For, for, Shout out Adon- Adoni, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> press Secret press conference, basically. But then he did another one with the real media where he tore Hap. Yeah. For anyone that didn't hear, he was like, by our calculations, he's a back-of-the-rotation guy right now. He was bad last year, and he's been bad. This isn't me paraphrasing. No. He was bad. He was poor last year, and he's been bad this year, and he slots at the back of the rotation. So anytime we can reset our rotation, he goes to the back. I I mean, that's not the exact words, but it was very very close to that. Not sugar-coated, because if you go at cash, he'll send it back. So um, Hat put it out there. And then uh, he comes up in the seven-game losing streak, the only nine-inning game this series. Our bullpen had nothing today. J-Hap gave us 7.1, longest start of the season, I believe. Best start of the season. Best start of the season, longest start of the season. I mean, 7.1 shutout. And, you know, all of his numbers, you guys know I love to butter knife it. His numbers this year now look okay. His numbers in his last, like, 10 starts look okay because he finished last year really strong. And we need pitching. We'll see what the trade deadline has to offer. We'll see how this Davy storm continues. But guess what? I mean, Jay Happ, three days from now, four days from now, is going to get the pill. Um, And I think it's going to be against the Mets again. And there's no reason, I don't want to say to not believe in him, but to not believe he's going to give you an effort. And, you know, that's kind of all we're asking at this point. And you know what? Go check out the September stats from last year. Maybe this guy is a pro. Maybe this guy did have a rough time with a juice baseball, and maybe he's figured something out. Um, The six-walk start in Philly was as bad a baseball as you can watch. But he shoved. It brought us out of this losing streak. If the Yankees don't win that game, I mean, Jim, we could be living in such a different – Universe right now 